Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new blitz sets in the game. Now there is one thing I want to talk about that could possibly be coming out later today. I think I should uh, maybe just throw this theory out there. Nothing confirmed, just a little bit of speculation for me but I do want to talk about it. This could possibly be happening. But also, thank you guys very much for the support. Uh, we have been growing at an absolutely insane rate. We are now over 48,000 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. 15,000 is right around the corner. So if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that sub button and smack the like button down below. It's definitely going to be a busy day. I'm going to be doing this video today. We also have Team of the Week predictions. We have the new token players. Uh, we have Team of the Week reveal, which probably will be tonight. Uh, and then we also have more sets at 8 p.m. We get the new Zeke, and there's going to be even more. So it's going to be a lot of videos. Make sure you guys turn that notification bell on so you guys get notified whenever I do upload another video. But uh, the theory I want to put out there is Kralo said a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was like a week ago, somewhere around there, uh, he did tweet out about possibly seeing some upgrades for the Hall of Fame players. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Terrell Owens, Dan Marino, Terrell Davis, Brian Erlacher, and Rod Woodson. So, with that being said, there actually is a new pack coming out tonight at 8 p.m. with the four-hour set. It's the inductees pack. Now, I believe the inductees pack is, in fact, going to be the Hall of Fame players. So, to me, I feel like if they're going to end up doing some type of upgrade for these Hall of Fame players... It actually might be tonight. Now, obviously, nothing is confirmed. That's just some speculation for me. And to me, it kind of makes sense. They've been doing a lot of these different packs, like with the Potluck pack. Uh, you got a Hall of Fame player. Why? There's literally no need for a Hall of Fame player because everybody has theirs to a 90. Or you didn't do the set because it was super, super expensive. So I feel like possibly either tonight, if not tonight, we could be seeing some upgrades to these Hall of Fame players very very soon especially if they end up releasing like some type of bundle at 8 p.m or midnight with hall of fame players in them so to me I, I feel like we could definitely possibly uh definitely possibly we could possibly see a hall of fame player upgrade either tonight or within a couple of weeks i just feel like it's gotta happen it just makes sense to me but take a look at the 12 hour limited sets we have teron armstead and miles garrett then tonight is big boy Zeke time. I'm super excited to get Zeke the freak on the team. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do Miles Garrett for you guys. And I'll show you guys his stats. What he's looking like compared to Aaron Donald. Uh, I'd imagine that Miles Garrett is probably going to be maybe like 300k-ish. Uh, like I said guys, I hope that you listen to me when I said to hold on to Tyreek Hill. And wait until his set closes. Because now, the reason you want to wait until the set closes is because that means that he's going to be more limited. And obviously, if people are just doing the set, they're going to throw him up. Now, you can't do the set anymore. So, Tyreek Hill should be going for a little bit more. As we're going to go ahead and get ourselves Miles Garrett. And we also get 49 Blitz Master Collectibles to get ourselves Deion Sanders. But here is Miles Garrett. Take a look at his stats compared to Aaron Donald. He looks pretty freaking good, I got to say. So, 83 speed. 89 excel 94 strength now sadly he doesn't have a power up so i feel like he should get a power maybe in series four he has a lot of upgrades uh 85 tackling with an 84 play rack 91 block shed 91 power move so he doesn't have as good power move as aaron donald or finesse move obviously block shed though is better strength speed and excel it's pretty good. I, I gotta say, it's honestly pretty good. And obviously, the price difference here is that Aaron Donald goes for, like, a ridiculous amount. Now, if Garrett does get a power-up, though, remember, that means you'll be able to go ahead and get this Blitz card with training. So, if you can power up Mike Miles Garrett, he low-key might be better than this Donald. With, with training points, he might just be. So, he does have 59 catching. Uh, let's see. Tackling 85, jumping 93. That's a big, big difference. So he actually might be able to swat some balls down. And he's also three inches taller than Aaron Donald. Uh, zone of 53, stamina only an 81, though. That kind of sucks. Hit power, 
88. So the hit power is really, really nice. Now I gotta say the block shed, the speed, the excel, the strength combo is definitely very nice. Some people would even say this Miles Garrett is better than Donald right now, personally though, because the power move on Donald's side, I'm gonna personally say Donald's the better card for now, but this Miles Garrett is definitely pretty freaking solid. Now I will also go ahead and check the auction box, show you Armstead stats, but tonight we get Jason Barrett and Zeke, so that's gonna be the final blitz set for tonight. So kind of sad the Blitz promo is going to be ending tonight, but I will also be getting this Blitz Master Deion Sanders later today. Uh, so that gives me 49 Blitz Master Disc collectibles uh, with Miles Garrett, and then I'm also going to get 49 more with Zeke. So that should allow me to go ahead and get this Deion Sanders. Of course, I actually didn't open the 49 pack yet, so that would put me at 100 and 120. When I go and get that. So that means I'll have a couple of extra discs, which I probably won't end up doing another Deion Sanders because I don't have enough for that. But I might just end up quick selling them for 1,000 coins each. Not too shabby. There is also, of course, a limited time. Jadavion Clowney is still in packs. And we still have Deacon Jones in packs uh, until 10.30 a.m. today. So if you guys are up right now opening some packs, you could possibly get him. So Armstead is going for 55k right now. And like I said, these players do go up in price, guys, actually, like, after the set uh, stops. Like, obviously, Roquan Smith now is 63K. Evan Ingram was, like, 35K, 40K. The man has 80,000 coins now. So, really, that was a pretty easy coin method for this promo, was just buying the cards when the set was out and then reselling them. So, with Teron Armstead, he's 57,000 coins. Take a look at his stats. Compared to Jason Peters, 86 strength, nowhere near the strength. Uh, 91 awareness, 87 pass blocking, 87 pass block power, 86 pass block finesse, 85 run block, 85 run block power, and 84 run block finesse. I mean, <laughs> compared to the 94 Jason Peters, obviously not the best comparison here, but the card really just doesn't look that great. He does have 79 speed, 87 excel, so that's really, really good speed wise. Um, stamina, what are we looking with stamina here? 90. So pretty good stamina and very good speed. But besides that, he really he doesn't even have like a 90 overall pass blocking stat. He has 91 awareness and nothing else even close. So to me, this Armstead's really not going to be that good. Now, with Miles Garrett just coming out, that might have just dropped the price on Dion even freaking more. So let's take a look here. Uh, 94 overalls. Let's see what Dion Sanders can go for now. Probably going to go for quite a bit. Uh, probably like 700k. Wow, Dion is actually below 700k. Wow, uh, that is pretty freaking shocking. So 675,000 coins for Dion Sanders. Limited time, Jadavion Clowney right now is still going for a million coins. So if you guys pull Dion Sanders, or you complete the Dion Sanders set, sell for 687k. Ugh, that's not as much as I would have hoped you would be able to get out of him. Uh, right now, though, it looks like Miles Garrett is about 240. So, of course, hold on to him. Or actually, yeah, about 240. Hold on to him until this set closes. And you guys see Tyree Kill now is going for 370k. He was below 300k when I told you guys. Do not sell him. Hold on to him. You would have made an extra 100k. So, same thing goes with Miles Garrett. Wait until tomorrow. Then go and sell him. And the same thing when it comes to Zeke tonight. So... Yeah. Now we also have a new bundle coming out at noon, so I'll see what that's going to be. Maybe I'll go ahead and open that. I'm not exactly sure uh, what it would have to be to get me to open it, but I'm going to do a couple of Blitz packs because we do have limited time. Jadavion Clowney still in packs. Let's see if we can go ahead and pull him. Probably not, though. I don't have any limited time pulls this year so far. As we get Jack Tatum and Wendell Smallwood. Uh, at least we need to get a power-up legend there. One more Blitz pack. Uh, these are really, really expensive packs, and to be honest... Recently, they haven't been too good for me. Uh, so let's see. 83 Jordan Poyer, and we get a low 10 week elite, 80 overall Gary and Conley. So not very much, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Like I said, guys, it's going to be quite a busy day. Uh, the next video I'm going to be dropping is probably going to be my. The next video is probably going to be the token sets. And then I'll drop the Team League predictions probably right after that. And then we're going to have a bunch of other stuff coming out for you guys later tonight. So hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.